Welcome to A Healing Moment with Dr. Rochelle Lorraine. This is that part of the day where you say, you know what? I just need a little help. This is that part of the day where you say, you know what? I just need some encouragement. This is that part of the day where you say, I just need to know it is okay not to be okay. Today's topic is get your mind right. I remember when my kids was growing up, I used to say to them, listen, I don't care what nobody say. I am the boss. I don't care if I'm 95 and you 87. That'd be a little too close. 95 and you 77. <laughs> I get the last word because I am the mama. I am the boss. I get the last word. And I wish you would say something crazy out your mouth. I determined a long time ago, I was not going to be held hostage to anybody who came out of me. So I think about getting my mind right. And I used to say to my kids when they would do something that was contrary, I would say, get your mind right. And I would go open the door and I would say, whatever spirit you was with before you came in my presence, I need you to take it outside and have a conversation. Whatever spirit that is, I need you to go deal with it because I'm not, we not, that's not what we doing. Get your mind right. So I want to talk about that today. I want to talk about what are you saying to yourself? What are you saying to yourself that you are not being the kind of person that's supposed to be walking in love? You're supposed to be the kind of person that extends grace. Now, what is happening that your internal conversation is not manifesting in a positive way? What are you saying to yourself? You know, people think what other people say has more power than what I'm saying, right? And we play these tapes and the tape might be, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not this enough. I'm not that enough. And the truth of the matter is what you say to you has more power than what anybody else says. And you have to say to yourself, where did this tape come from? Who told me all of these things? And then why did I give it power that it would then dictate my emotion and then dictate my behavior. You know what it means to get your mind right? It means going back and doing some self-reflection and saying, where did this tape come from? What I'm saying to myself, I don't even really think that came from me. I think it came from somebody else. And how do I take the power back from the words that even I'm saying to myself? How do I rewrite my own script? How do I say, you know what? I'm not thinking negative anymore. I'm not raking myself off of the coals. I'm not being demonstrative and I'm not saying that I'm a horrible person. I'm better than all the things that people think about me. You know what I decided a long time ago? That was going to prove people wrong. You say what you want about me, but I'm not going to let you dictate who I am becoming. So when I say to you, get your mind right, and this healing moment with Dr. Shellarine, it's the time to get a hold of that script that internal conversation that you're having, you need to find out where did it come from? What is the root of the negativity so that you can rewrite the script? You know, we can't erase a thought. We can't erase an emotion. We can replace it. We can replace a thought. We can replace an emotion. And in this moment, we need to replace some things so that you will see yourself in a better light. Because what you say to yourself leads to your emotions will lead to your behavior. And if you're having a negative internal conversation, that's gonna to lead to a negative emotion, which is gonna to lead to a negative behavior. You know how many people have put harmful behaviors in place because they don't wanna think about the things in life that brought them trauma. A hurt that has not been dealt with has no time frame for healing. So I need you to get your mind right. I need you to get a hold of that tape and say, oh no, not today. Thank you for joining me for a healing moment with Dr. Rochelle Lorraine. Until next time, be kind to yourself.